Hello, my name is Mars, and welcome back to Going Under. Uh, the first thing I want to do today, actually, is go back to Jackie's apartment and check out the new outfit we got for defeating Hustle Bones. <laughs> oh, the miner. Um, we can roll with this a little, I guess. I like the, uh, uh I love how there, she has a little light in her, her hard hat, or whatever you call it. <laughs> I really like that, actually. Um. Oh my goodness, is that a character from Turnip Boy commits tax evasion? I mean, oh no, 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 it's that, um, garden story or something? The, the thing on her bed I'm talking about. And I think this little lizard thing is uh, ukulele. I don't know which is which. It's either Yuka or Lele. But, oh, I love little indie game cross-references like that. I feel like that's made abundantly clear. Anyway, I'll roll with the miner for a little bit. I like the Winky Dink outfit the best, so I'll probably go back to that eventually. But this is fun, right? Um, we got a lot of cubits, so... Spend something. Alright. Well, we definitely want dodge rolls to deal damage. Free hand is good. Two handed weapons are wielded like one handed weapons. Yeet. That's all she yote. That has something to do with throwing things, I'm sure. Um. Dodge rolling ignites the ground. That's good. We can buy all of these. Even though I probably won't use either of these because I never throw things and I never charge attack. I'll buy them anyway to clear the room for better things. We're all out of AP dialogue. We can still throw her for old time's sake. Or can we not? We can't even throw her anymore? Ugh. Lame. Have you noticed anything different since that weird mask got installed? different how. Well, I was drinking bubble tea at my desk, like I usually do. And then Ray walked up to me and just took a huge sip without even asking permission. And then he said, one snack to another, and walked away. What does that even mean? I don't know! I was honestly too confused to be offended. Not only that, but I felt that mask just staring at me from over by the fountain. And I felt my skin crawl. Like, if I spoke out about feeling uncomfortable, something terrible might happen. I feel like I know what you mean. I really hope Marv knows what he's doing here. Mm, so that mask is bad news. I mean, we knew that. Look at that portal. Look at that portal that it helped open up. That That is a problem. I'm ready for lesson number three. Lesson three! Unions, they're the worst. Never even think about joining one. Uh, if you encounter a union being formed, stop it by any means necessary. Beat up everyone in the room if you have to. Yo, that's really messed up. Sure, if good business is messed up, then you better call the cleanup crew on this bad boy right here. Are you even seeing real words anymore? Oops, would you look at that? It's time for my daily meditative ego analysis. My eyes will remain open and I'll seem to be standing here awake, but I'll actually be in a deep dreamlike state, self-scrutinizing every corner of my mind palace. See you later, kid. And remember, destroy all unions. Break up the Joblin Union. Okay, that's another task that we have to go to Joblin for. That's messed up of you, Ray. I'm shining a light right in your face because that's messed up. Ray is generally not a malicious character, I feel like. I mean, he's definitely got an antagonistic role. You saw that at the office party. But <laughs> that particular task is very malicious, I feel. So, yeah. Not out of character, though. Hey, can I ask you a personal question? No. Why'd you take this job if you aren't even getting paid? I'm out here making minimum wage and I don't put up with half the crap you do. Got a good point. Well, 
this job's the only way I could get housing in the city. Cubicle's paying for that, at least. Sure, it's a 20-square-foot pod with a shared bathroom, but... I don't know. I thought I'd be happy here, I guess. Maybe I was just naive. Could be. But... At least you got to meet the Swampster, smiley face. Yeah, no kidding. Silver linings, huh? <laughs> this light is really funny. <laughs> I might stick with the minor outfit just for that. Because it's, it's giving me a lot of laughs. Just trying to light right in your face, Marv. Marv, I had a question. Mm -hmm. Ask away, Jackie. Mm -hmm. You got some burning mm -hmm. questions about entrepreneurship, project management, cowboy hat brands. I'm all yours. How do you keep your head so smooth? It's impeccable. Mm. Coconut oil. Thanks, Marv. Just asking for a friend. <laughs> we embarrassed him. Okay, so... Let's take a look at what tasks we have. A lot of these we have to go to Joblin for. And I know I said last time that I would be doing that, but I don't want to leave you all in suspense, so I think I am going to show you what's in the portal. I don't expect to beat it first time around, beat what's up ahead. Um, if I do, I'll live with the consequences. <laughs> Ooh, I'm a little scared, honestly. <laughs> And I feel like this skeleton form is not going to be the most conducive to my attention, but we're going to enter the pro productivity portal, as Marv called it. It's so pretty. I wonder what's inside. <laughs> we failed the task. Well, I mean, this is co-working space, I know. Oh, we do get a mentor and a... Skill. I could have showed off something. Oh well. So we got a lot of weapons flo floating around. Let's pick some up, I guess. This is interesting. Isn't it? Mix of items from different dungeons. Already lost three whole hearts. Amazing. all over the place. Very strange. I don't remember how big this this particular dungeon is. Hmm. Alright. I could take unapproachable. Um Pugilist might actually be good for this. going on.
I do really like the music in this level. <sighs> okay, we got some money. Um, so we bother healing. Um, let's get hard headed and this nice weapon. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Uh, we're risking it a little with health, but it's okay. interesting we are now wearing two hard hats some skills will give you physical um, upgrades one of those is that dodge rolling one we just took and since our minor outfit has a hard hat we get a hard hat on top of our hard hat <laughs> oh oh Yes, I ran over a car with my car. All right. I didn't think I was gonna do that here. Oh, milk. Get the milk. All right, do I want Joblin Squad? Yeah, I'll take Joblin Squad. Oh, and with Kara, I can take two apps. That's right. <sighs> Joplin, but I'm do a race thing, but I'm very glad. I am very glad that we managed to do uh, two tasks here. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, this thing goes on forever. Um, okay, we definitely want the avocado toast. <laughs> we got some sticks coin too, wow. Oh boy. Floor B14. I should have known you'd come. This is the problem with your generation, you know. You just want to stick your noses into everything. Please don't touch anything, okay? If this ritual goes wrong, it'll be a real problem. What is this place? Calm down, Jackie. You must be in shock that I've been having you gather these relics for a secret purpose. Not even, Jude. I knew the relics were bad news. I didn't realize it was subspace chaos dimension kind of bad news. Either way, I changed my mind. Screw you and screw this job. <laughs> You see, the relics are more than just business-enhancing artifacts. He's got a monologue at us. <laughs> they manifest mysteriously when a company goes under. You could say that they're formed out of pure despair. <laughs> so every time Cubicle dissolves a startup, that latent power beneath their campus has been growing stronger. Power that's ours for the taking. Are you even listening to me? <laughs> Joblin, <laughs> Winky Dink, Sticks Coin, and countless more. <laughs> I've watched them all perish, and I won't let Fizzle be next. Maybe, just maybe, if I can harness the power of this co-working space, we might be able to self-fund and break free of Cubicle's grasp. I don't know what the hell you're talking about or what this place is, but it's not worth it anymore, Marv. The way you're running this team is making everyone upstairs miserable. Screwing around with even more dark magic isn't going to fix that. 
I can't sit quietly anymore. I'm going to stop you and destroy those relics. All right. You can see he's wielding a katana. I, I told you that those ninja movies were going to come back. Um. Is that so? That's right. So fire me if you wanna. I'm sure you never planned on giving me a real job anyway. <laughs> oh, Jackie, Jackie, Jackie. <laughs> I'm going to do so much worse than fire you. We get our own corner cutter though, so that's good. Ah, he keeps dodging! That did something. Oh. <laughs> he is launching shit at that statue. <laughs> This is one of the best boss tracks in the game. Marv at least has that going for him. <laughs> if you notice that what he's doing when he falls down and explodes, that's a trust fall, which is the name of this track actually. The reason I took Pugilist <laughs> is that you don't really get a lot of weapons. I wasted that armor. Okay. It was going well, now it's not. going so well now. really expecting to win that. All right. <laughs> uh, okay. We got Pugilist. Okay. I think... Okay. Now, I didn't quite realize that co-working space did allow you to have mentors. Um, so I'm gonna switch that up, I think, actually. Marv is nowhere to be found now. All right. I have time to do another run of that. We were doing pretty good. So, like, I won't. I think I can give it another try. Hey, you're friends with that swamp kid, right? I don't know if I'd say that. You think you could get him to stop trying to teach my dog to beatbox? It's getting pretty annoying. I don't think anyone can get Swamp to do anything, dude. As far as I can tell, he barely even does his job. But hey, worst case scenario, you get a beatboxing dog. That sounds pretty sick, right? Sure, but if she beatboxes like Swamp, I think I'll pass. You got a new task for me, Fern? Jacqueline, I must ask you to gather a rare ingredient for me. You've doubtless seen the eggplants hanging from the ceiling in Winky Dink. 
I try not to think about them too much. Well, I've heard legends that once in a generation, a legendary golden eggplant spawns from those tender vines. Uh-huh, makes perfect sense. Do I detect a hint of sarcasm, young lady? No, no, this all seems totally normal. I'll go get your golden eggplant from the sexy demon office. Jolly good. <laughs> Is he supposed to be British? Have I been giving him a very appropriate transatlantic accent this whole time? Maybe. I freaking love sandwiches. I love them so much, sometimes I eat them when I'm not even hungry. Your new task is to eat a sandwich when you're already full. Just to feel the rush. It really feels like there's less and less justification for your task, Swamp. Hey, are you the intern here or are you the super cool guy coming up with great tasks? Chop chop, get to it. Sandwich time. Eat a sandwich when you're not even hungry, so overheal basically. We are going to take Tappy as our mentor, because I think that getting more money will be good for us. Um, and should I do fail forward or unapproachable? I feel like unapproachable would be good. That has helped me beat every boss so far. <laughs> uh, I'm so glad I haven't endorsed. Uh, so let's go to the co-working space again and try Marv. Try our hand at defeating Marv, who has been revealed as the monster we all truly knew he was this whole time. This episode might go a little long. That's okay. I need to get out of that car. Give me the milk! very easy to do with unapproachable. Yeah. I love how it takes a little picture. And I got a picture of that, uh, what you call it, slime. Can I climb this ladder? I want to climb the ladder and get the stuff. Oh! Nice. Okay, the job seeker kind of crap, but it's fine. <laughs> Yeah, 
let's get a classic. And let's get a, a drill to replace our crossbow. Ooh, there's some eggplants. Is there a golden eggplant anywhere around here? There, can I get that meat? I guess not. This this level is so chaotic. I love it. Give me that milk. Cycle this pickaxe. Durability up, nice. And the drill, smart. I don't know what that does. Why do we get six coin in this dungeon? It makes no sense. Um, double damage at the start. It's all kind of sucks. Uh, how about dodge rolls? Give, give me that! Dodge rolling and setting stuff on fire. I'm on fire. Nice.
I think setting him on fire and just kind of passing him by with the unapproachable. Yeah. If I do this slow and don't. I think that'll do it for now. Um, Marv is a very tricky boss fight, specifically because his arena is so sparse and empty. Like, really, the only weapons you get are the things, the junk items that he throws at you, and whatever you walk into the arena with. And it like, not only does getting those junk items depend on you dodge rolling into them because they don't land on the ground, but... I don't know, it just... is a mode of combat that is unfamiliar. So... you really have to get used to it and find creative ways, usually revolving around skills, to defeat him. So, I, I just think it's a really interesting twist. But, I don't know, next episode, since I showed off co-working space and the boss fight at the end, I'll probably do a little bit of mentorship cleanup in the next episode. And then keep bashing my head against, against Marv, I guess. So, I have been Mars. Thank you for watching, and I will be back soon with more Going Under.